Oh, hey there. Guess I was a little distracted. If you're like most people, it's way too easy to get unfocused and distracted, especially when it comes to the phone. For some, constantly being unfocused can harshly affect your mood, your leadership ability, your productivity, stress levels, even your sleep. That's why today we're going to focus on four tips you can use to keep your momentum high and your stress levels low. Before we get started, if you're excited to learn strategies to help you become the focused, productive leader you're meant to be, hit the subscribe button and bell icon now so you'll be the first to know when a new adventure is posted every week. Welcome to Adventures in Leadership on Christy TV. This is where high achievers go for the tools, confidence, and motivation to become a successful leader. Let's do this. The question I get asked the most as a success coach is, how do I stay focused? This is a massive topic, which is why it's broken down into a multi-episode series. People are pulled in hundreds of directions on a daily basis. And there's mind overload, people overload, information overload, task overload, and I'm sure you've got some personal overloads to add too. It's no wonder our brains have trouble focusing on one thing at a time. As a leader, focus is paramount, not only for you, but for your team. If you struggle focusing on the little things, it may get more difficult to focus on the big vision and the goals, and your team will notice. Pressure to do more, be more, and buy more leads to lots of unneeded distractions and stress, especially when it comes to the phone. So let's get into those four tips to help you improve your focus, avoid frustration, and feel better about how you spend your time. Tip number one, be present in the moment, be with the people. This may be a toughie, especially because society has this approach of when the phone rings, you must answer it right away. But being fully present with those around you is how you move professional and personal relationships forward. Start out small if you're fairly addicted to looking at your phone all the time. As soon as your rear hits that seat in the meeting, just put your phone away. Put it in your bag or your pocket or your purse, anywhere out of sight. And we're trained nowadays to put our phone on silent or vibrate, so that goes without saying. But if the phone buzzes, resist the urge to look at it. Your colleagues will respect you and feel more important because you're focusing on them and the meeting. If you're having dinner with someone, make it the exact same habit. As soon as you sit down, the phone goes away. Not on the table, not in your hand, completely out of sight. Putting your phone away when you're around others seems like such a little thing, doesn't it? But hold up, not everyone does this. But there are major pros in doing this little thing. You can focus more on the conversation and you'll probably learn a thing or three when you're present in the moment. It allows your brain to focus on just what's in front of it and not constantly multitasking. You show others that you respect their time and enjoy their company. Without the distraction of a phone, you become a better listener, which in turn helps you become a better leader. Do this habit for 30 days straight and see what happens. Tip number two, make the connection with others. Does this happen all the time? You're working or playing on your phone and someone comes up to you. It could be the waitress, a store clerk, your son, your coworker, your teammate. Do you put the phone down immediately when they come up to you? If you do, kudos to you. If you don't, that's the tip. Just put it down. Don't keep looking at the phone and talking at the same time. It's well known that you can't 100% fully focus on what that person is saying if your brain is still getting input from your phone at the same time. Conversations will get muddled and the other person will feel slightly less important. It's an easy thing that you can do, but it could mean so much to the other person. You'll gain better connection with who's in front of you, you'll get more focused, and you'll feel better for it. Do you think you could do this for 30 days straight without fail? Two tips done, two to go. Now, if you're thinking, wow, these are super easy, I'd agree. But if everyone did these, we'd have less stress, less distractions, and we'd all be more focused, wouldn't we? If you feel these are super easy, then take the 30 day challenge. Do both of these tips for 30 days straight without fail. And if you stumble, just go back to day one. If you're up for the challenge, comment 30 days in the comments below. So let's see who's committed to being more focused and present in life. Tip number three, go upside down or incognito. 
This next tip I use all the time when I'm working on a focus intense project and I need to gain momentum. If you need a long period of uninterrupted time to finish out something, the phone goes incognito. As in, put the phone away, out of your sight, and out of easy reach. Turn it on silent so the ring or vibration isn't distracting. And if you can't turn it off or put it out of sight, put it upside down and out of easy reach. So the screen doesn't light up and you're tempted to look at every notification. Or consider changing your phone's notification settings for your apps so you don't get constant pings. Let go of the control to have to look at your phone. This will allow your brain to relax and gain focus where you really want it to be. Tip number four, avoid the blue light and sleep tight. Did you know the phone can keep us from getting a good night's sleep too? Yep. According to the National Sleep Foundation, the blue light from most electronic screens tricks our brains into thinking it's still daytime, and then it suppresses the sleep-inducing hormone melatonin. And this could cause other changes in the body like lower alert levels, less quality sleep, and chronic sleep deficiency. If you're the type to be on your phone, tablet, or laptop right before bed, work up to not having any screen time one hour before bed. For the first two to three nights, put your phone away for five minutes before bed. For the next two to three nights, put it 10 minutes away before bed. Work this up until you are not having any screen time one hour before bed. Now, it may be difficult at first, but there are a lot of non-screen things that you can do. And you might not notice a change in the first one to two weeks, but with steady practice, you may fall asleep faster and you might have better quality sleep. And that's all four. Are you still focused? Do you remember all four tips? Or did your phone jump out and distract you? If it did, now you know what to work on. Speaking of working, let's talk action items. Will you do tips one and two for 30 days straight and take that 30 day challenge without fail? Or will you choose another tip and do that for 30 days without fail? Either way, now you can be more present and learn a little bit more because you're allowing your brain to focus on just one thing at a time. Now I'd love to hear from you. Which tip will you commit to work on? Let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. If you loved what you saw today and you want more, you got it. Just hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon and you'll be the first to know when a new leadership adventure is posted every week. And if you know somebody who could use leadership tips, success strategies, or motivational stories, just hit the share button and share it with them. You never know who it'll help. Thanks for being here on Christy TV, and I hope you were focused the entire time. Do you wanna be a confident next level leader, but your job doesn't offer any solid training? Are you unsure of how or where to start? Then let's talk. Schedule a free leadership strategy session with me. If you're a driven professional and you're serious about taking your success to the next level, just click the link in the description below. We'll talk about your challenges and next steps you can take to be the leader you're meant to be. Let's move you forward now.